The internet has been sharing some uncomfortable allegations about Ava Chris Tyson, a longtime member of Mr. Beast's crew. While the story is still developing, here's our current breakdown. On June 13th, Prism42 posted a lengthy YouTube video sharing alleged screenshots of conversations that Tyson had with an underage fan. A fan who goes by the screen name Lava Gies was in a Discord server with Tyson and also spoke with her publicly on social media. Some screenshots also indicate that the two of them may have communicated privately via Snapchat. The messages span many years, apparently beginning when Lava GS was just 13 years old and Tyson was 20. Though the messages themselves aren't exactly explicit, people are still raising their eyebrows at the kinds of jokes Tyson was making with an underage fan. Prism 42's video came out in June, but the internet has been slow to respond. That's at least in part due to similar disturbing allegations about Dr. Disrespect taking up a majority of people's attention. However, more videos have come out in recent days that take a closer look at the situation, which has in turn drawn more attention to the story. This has everyone waiting for Mr. Beast or Tyson herself to come forward and explain the situation. The alleged victim has come forward to say that everyone is misunderstanding the story. On July 22nd, just as the Ava Chris Tyson allegations were really starting to garner attention online, Lava GS, who is now 20, pushed back against the narrative on X. According to Lava, quote, Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. Tyson issued a statement on the afternoon of July 23rd, which said they were stepping away from the Mr. Beast channel. They wrote, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Lava GS asked people to flood the comments on the anti-Tyson videos to deny the allegations. He said, quote, This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. In a separate post, Lava wrote, Chris's messages to me were sent in public Discord servers, groups, but everyone is framing it as if it was one-on-one. -on -one. Chris literally did nothing wrong. Some people pushed back against Lava's side of the story, however. In their replies, more than a few ex-users have insisted that he is a victim of grooming, and so he doesn't have a clear perspective on the situation because of it. On the other hand, even some of the people who do accept Lava's account still have questions about why Tyson spent so much time talking to an underage fan years ago, particularly if the conversations frequently involved inappropriate humor. Other streamers and content creators are discussing the situation online. Former Mr. Beast collaborator Jake Franklin came forward and seemed to claim that Mr. Beast had been aware of these allegations, simply saying, Jimmy knew. Not long after Franklin posted, Keemstar made a post claiming that Mr. Beast had helped him get into contact with Lava directly, allowing the alleged victim to tell their side of the story. According to Keemstar, Lava GS told him basically the same story he posted on his own feed. Lava reiterated that he ran a Discord channel with Tyson, where inappropriate jokes were shared. But he said that he didn't think Tyson had done anything illegal and he doesn't view himself as a victim of grooming. During a live stream, XQC seemed particularly bothered that Tyson and Lava had communicated via Snapchat, saying, It's private, no logs. It's something people use very personally and use very uh, it, uh, often intimately. Moist Critical also commented on the situation on his channel, saying, From the messages I saw, that is completely unacceptable to be saying to a child under, under any circumstances. If you or someone you know may be the victim of child abuse, please contact the Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline. That's 1-800-4-A-CHILD, 1-800-422-4453, or contact their live chat services.